Today I'm going to show you how to add repeat region relations to a table to adjust the quantity to AR for as required for bulk items. We'll go ahead and insert a quick table into the drawing and adjust this column width for better display. So as you can see, if we switch symbols, we have the report index, assembly member name, report quantity, and the PDC common name parameter for all the components being called out. So what we need to do now is go into the repeat region and enter the relations menu. Now it asks us to select a region. We'll pick on the repeat region. It opens the relations editor. What we'll do next is check the local parameters and we'll notice what parameters are in the table right now. So there currently isn't one for assembly member type. What we can do is add that within this dialog box. So we'll add that one now. And it should be okay. We should just be able to go up here and verify. And this parameter should be available for usage now. So I'll go back and just check what happened here. So we can see it's on a member type unknown now. So it's ready for use within relations. So next what we want to do is enter the relation to match whether assembly member type is equal to a bulk item. So we enter bulk item in all capitals within double quotes. Next line, we enter the new parameter name. So I'll call this one num for number and we can say equals and then AR for as required and we enter double quotes because this is a string value. Then we can proceed to the next line where we enter an else statement for anything not matching the bulk item assembly member type and we add the next line there and say num equals RPT QTY for the report quantity and then we end the relation with an end if statement. It's always good to verify the relations. They are successfully verified. And then we can finish this out and close the menu manager for the repeat region. Now what we need to do is replace this quantity symbol with an alternate report parameter. And since it's a repeat region relation, we want to enter the report section and then REL for relation and user defined. And now we enter the NUM symbol for num and we enter that and update the tables. And now what you'll observe is that the bulk items now have an AR, and any item that isn't a bulk item just reports the regular report quantity.